Welcome back to our channel everybody. As you can see today's video is way overdue. This fig tree here is growing way too tall and in today's video we're going to be pruning this fig tree to achieve our desired shape. So many of you may have gone out and purchased a fig tree and you received it as a whip, which is what this is right here. Basically all trunk and no lateral branches. This does have a few lateral branches, but they're not really going to develop and grow until I remove the head of this tree. The reason for that is all the energy is just going to go straight up and it's going to keep getting taller but not any wider until I remove this head and then it'll start putting that energy into these lateral branches. Now, there are many different forms you could grow a fig tree. I could have cut this very low at an early stage and got more of a bush where the lateral branches would have started out earlier. Some people would go like knee high to get a smaller tree. I'm looking at something a bit more waist high to get a slightly larger tree. I'm trying to keep this somewhere around six to seven feet. I'm six feet tall and you can see it's already getting there, uh, but I don't want it this tall right now until I get those lateral branches grown. So today we're going to be pruning this to encourage those lateral branches to start coming in and developing. And this will also help with fruiting. We'll get more nodes, which will eventually lead to more fruit. So let's get started. When it comes to pruning your fig trees for maximum fruit production, there are many different types of cuts you can do. However, today we're only going to be doing a heading cut, as we don't have any lateral branches to do any thinning cuts. Uh, but stay tuned for later in this video as I'm going to be fast forwarding in time where we will have lateral branches and we may perform some thinning cuts. But for now, we're just going to be doing a heading cut and I'm thinking somewhere around waist high, which means somewhere around this node right here, it'll start branching out and producing more lateral branches. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to cut right around here. All right, so we've made our heading cut. Now we should get some more development and growth in these lateral branches here, here, and here, and even some of these down here at the bottom. And uh, we might even get some new growth from nodes that aren't even visible yet. So uh, we're just gonna take this off here, let's clean this up. And this part right here is not going to be going to waste. But some of you might be thinking, why did you wait so long to start pruning your tree? If you wanted to have a tree shape, why didn't you do it earlier? Well, the answer to that question is, I wanted this to become woody rather than that green new material that grows on new growth. The reason for that is I want to propagate this, which basically means cloning it and growing new roots. And I'll have a second fig tree from this cutting right here. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be posting that as the link in the next video. But let's get back to this whip. Okay, so this is what we got. We've got our newly pruned whip, which is going to be producing lots more lateral growth and even some upward growth. You'll probably notice some of those lateral branches are going to start growing upwards. We'll check this out in a few weeks and see how it does. But for now, I'm just going to clean up some of these suckers here. You want to get rid of these guys. And make sure you're wearing gloves when you're working with a fig tree. The sap can be very irritating to your skin. But we're going to get rid of these suckers which they call them suckers because they basically suck the life out of the tree. If all that energy is going upwards, everything along the way is taking some energy out. And we want all that energy to go into these lateral branches, so I'm just going to remove those suckers here. We'll put those in the compost. You can just pinch those off. And um, we're going to check back in with this in a few weeks, and we'll see how this does. Welcome to the future. It's been three months since about two seconds ago in this video when we top this tree off and uh, look at this we've got lots of new lateral growth we've got this branch here and this branch here and then we've got this branch who's sort of assumed its new role of the top of the tree uh, it's doing really well I'm really impressed with it I'm gonna get a new stake in here and try to help support this tree it has decided to grow a little heavy on this side so I do want to support that and maybe bring the stake around to the other side of it to try to influence this tree to grow a little bit more growth on the other side Let's get this thing staked.
we got it staked off. It is looking really good. We've got a few lateral branches. Like I said, we got this one here, and I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but this one here. So we've got these two, which I'm gonna be training to grow out a little bit longer because they're starting to curl up to become heads. And now we've got this one down here, which is a nice little lateral branch. It's pretty bare on the back, but we do see this coming off to the side. That looks like it's curving out here. And we've got a new growth coming out here and one more or two more back here. So I'm thinking this side should fill out a little bit more in the near future, but it's looking pretty good. I'm going to train this one a little bit to come out around this direction. Probably just a simple way of doing it would be just doing this here. And I'm also going to do the same thing for this branch here. That's just a basic means of training your tree to grow in the direction that you want it to grow. It'll prevent these two from becoming two tops like this one has. I don't mind this one. One top is good enough. I want these to branch out so we can just get more light in there and just more airflow to keep this tree growing nice and healthy. So that concludes this video. If you guys like what you've seen and if you learned something, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure you click on that video up above so you can see what we did to the top. We actually propagated it and grew an entirely new fig tree from it. So if you want to learn how to do that, check out that video up top. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.